So it's Monday morning, and while we're having our coffee, we've got some more packages come in. This is potentially some more commissions that we will sort out for the rest of the week and weeks coming. Yeah, my lovely assistant will open this for me. <laughs> so I, I have a general idea what this is anyway, but uh, I thought I'd show you guys, talk about how we sort out commissions as they come in. So this is a new customer that's sending me some stuff, and he is wanting some models painted from mythic battles so this is the hydra from mythic battles he did say to me when we were talking he said there's a bit of a gap there i don't know if you could see that yeah you can see that he wants me to green stuff that and then obviously paint that like on the artwork of the game so we got a hydra and we also got so <laughs> yeah he sent me uh, uh this game which is one of the games I collect, but he put some of the figures in the box. So we got Hercules. Uh, I think this is Odysseus. I think. I can't remember now. Is that not That's Achilles. Achilles yeah. And finally, I'm not sure. An Amazon, maybe? So these are obviously from Mythic Battles, which I have over there. It's one of my favorite games. Love this game. I've not actually painted any of my miniatures for this yet. But sometimes what I like to do is when I'm painting miniatures like this that I have already, I sometimes add my own versions of them. So, for example, I could add my own characters in the Hydra and paint them at the same time I do these. Unfortunately, um, I might not do it this time because we've actually got quite a lot of stuff come in and obviously that takes double the time to do that but what i like to do as well is make a little post-it so i'll write on the post-it notes uh, and then add them to my drawers so this is a, a rudimentary system but it works for us so we've got my drawers over here this is my commission drawers so up at the top here is the ones i'm busy with and then as they work down so you can see over here i've got the cthulhu figures they're almost done and and then we got some halflings, we got some 40k and Age of Sigma characters, and some board game components for a new board game coming out that's coming to Kickstarter. And then there's a couple of empty drawers over here, and then some bits and pieces that I'm working on over there. So these will go into this drawer. So that can go in there, and then I'll put the post-it in there with the name and the date of what I got, so it keeps... So I can keep track of how long it's been here and who it's going back to, that sort of thing. And it goes into the drawers as I finish a commission. So for example, let's say I finished these this week. This will move back down to the bottom and the other drawers will move up. Something like that, vaguely. <laughs> and then also, as a part of the tracking system, we have this up here as well, which is just a quick reference so we can look at the board and go have we contacted them have they paid that sort of thing so that is how my system and Carla's system and i'll hand over to carla now because she got a package in today as well you want to have a little show carla while i look at this new game <laughs> yeah so I, i've got a few um i've just already undid the the bits and bobs so my first one i'm assuming it's actually a little surprise for me, so not actually a commission, but uh, something for me, which, you know, being uh, Halloween, or almost Halloween, uh, Jason got me the Sanderson sisters, or here, as they're known as the Anderson sisters from Hocus Pocus, which I'm really quite excited about because um, Bad Scudder Games do this beautiful little uh, witch's hut, and I was quite excited about uh, getting one for myself. And you can't have a witch's hat without witches. And then he got me these, which are perfect. Can I just say that they are, if you guys are interested, they are from Northumbrian Tin Soldier Company. Mm. I got them there. I think they were 12, was it 12 pounds? Something like that. I don't know. You got them without me knowing, <laughs> so I can't answer that question. But, but uh, they, yeah. they look like decent sculpts as well. So I'm looking forward to painting them. And then this one here um, is definitely a commission. Um, so yeah, 
there's a lot in this box i was warned um so i have got some monster skulls um little tables laden with food i mean these are awesome i really like these um oh yay yeah <laughs> the bad squiddo scenic uh there's baggy and squiddo um oh some cannons some cannonballs Uh, these are books. Oh, pretty cool. This really is a little treasure trove of stuff, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. These I've seen. They are gnomes. I have a whole little collection of gnomes. How cute are they? Um, some more skulls. Um, they're pretty cool, actually. It's all part of the Bad Squitter Scenic range, so... Um, some wings. These are the feathered wings, angels' wings. And what are these? Uh, chickens. Don't know if you could really see them, but there are chickens. <laughs> um, what are these? Bat wings, demonic wings. They're cool, actually. It's gonna be cool. Ah, this is uh, just one of the pieces I've done in the past. I'm just going to be redoing it a little bit. Um, just need to touch up. Um, <laughs> that's very cool. I, I don't think you guys could really see this, but it's Baggy and Squiddo. <laughs> um, oh, the Harbour set. Oh, this is cool, actually. For those of you that play war games, um, it's like a whole harbour set, like you can make little bits to, to put on your harbour edge. It's pretty cool. Ah, and this one, the Dwarven Forge. I don't know if you can really see this, but there's lots of very cool pieces in this. Um, now, if you do want to see a little bit of a more close-up to these, these will show up on our um, either our Instagram um or possibly on our facebook page well definitely on our facebook page um as they get done so you can come uh, have a look at there and then if uh, i can show you my my little section jason does his according to commission i don't really do that i'm um i tend to have smaller commissions and i tend to be more pointed with mine so my drawers work slightly different so this one at the top here is all of my it's basically my wish list these are Frostgrave armies and miniatures from board games and, and personal projects that I'm hoping to one day finish. <laughs> um, I put them over there. Uh, these are my done commissions. Um, oh, they've fallen over now. I normally secure them at the bottom, but yeah, so that's see a little bit better. it's actually very cool i've got a very cool swamp at the back here which i love it's very cool on the witch's hut over there also bad squiddo stuff there um this one wow well, this one's interesting this is what's a kingdom death monster yeah yeah so these are the pinup pin girls from kingdom death monster that's actually a customers um which is a potential <laughs> We're just waiting to hear from him as to what he wants. Um, this is Lagatha on horseback. I don't think you can really see it, but it doesn't matter. It's not very relevant. Um, this is the playground from TT Combat. Um, also mostly a personal project. Um, I've just got all the little bits in here ready to go when I've got a bit of time. Um, and in here I have got basically little bits that I'm working on. That's not particularly. I'm kind of at that point where I'm ready to send things. So um, a lot of my stuff is ready to go. So that's why I've just gotten a whole big lot in from Bad Squiddo. I've got a couple of bits still going for her, but um, they are currently out to get sprayed or sorted. So <laughs> that's uh, 
that's that. Great. Well, we'll show you when they're done. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jason here from Painting Nights. Just another entry into the diary. Uh, I was thinking about something while I was painting these figures and I thought I'd give you guys a little heads up into what my thought process was for this particular job. So, I'm going to turn this around and show you guys some stuff. So, on my desk today is I've got, these are my Numidian, my Numidian war elephants. That's my own personal thing, so I'm working on. But I'm doing these for a client. Um, he's doing, he wants... I don't really know what this is for, to be honest. It's a, it's a lot of mixture of Cthulhu-style figures and horror figures. You see, he's got these fishmen. You've got these hassle-free uh, succubus models, which I'll come back to in a minute. There's some Migos over there. And then I've already finished up, or almost finished, a couple of bits in here from various types of war game, board game things. Anyway, the point is, with a ramble... I was I was just getting started with these sort of fishman models. I can't tell you where they're from as I have no idea. But there's six of them there. Four of these with just claws. And then there's two of these with um, sort of tridents. And I, I was thinking about this. Well, one of the things that I find easier as a commission painter is when someone, a client dictates what color scheme they want for the game. So, for example, in this situation here, yeah, these succubus models at the back here, he said he didn't want them like a red demony color. He wanted them like a human model. So they're more like a sort of a seductress style um, influencer, if you like. So that was fine. I know exactly what I have to do with that. And I'll paint that as accordingly. But with these, he said, just do whatever you want with these. And uh, I tend to find I get more pressure from having to come up with color schemes than when someone dictates the color scheme to me because if they go to me yeah just paint them you know blue with red fins or whatever then i can go great that's what you wanted and i'll get that done but when i have to go right let's see what have i got here? i've got a fish man he's got scales he's got some fins he's got some claws web feet that sort of thing so then i have to go look up online sorry it's not very focusing in i have to then go and look online what fishmen look like and i it takes me far longer to come up with a color scheme than when i just hit it straight out the park with whatever color scheme they tell me to so like for example over here this is my figures so i didn't have to worry so much about color scheme i already knew what i wanted to do and i just went with my gut you know i want i'm painting the midians this is what they generally look like this is how i want their cloaks to be this sort of range of colors that's all good with Amigos over there, for example, um, you can find examples of Amigos painted online. And he was not fussed about the colors for that as either. So that was just my thought. You know, it's it's one of those things. Like this, this bad boy over here. I mean, I don't even know what this is. So when he said, just paint them whatever you want and however you want them, as long as they look cool. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then I spent... You know, 20, 30 minutes looking up color schemes, trying to find some sort of um, idea of how I wanted this to be painted. Also, I've got to keep in mind of how things are going to be based. He wants all these based on clear bases. So, there you go. That's one of the thoughts of the day for commission painters. Color schemes, important. Carla's over here, by the way. She's also painting something. Hey, Carla. Hello. She's got... What do you got going on, Carla? I'm going to pause this over and she can have it. Hello. Tell Okay, so Jason has lobbed me into this diary thing. I think it's just his attempt to try and get me to work faster, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I am actually working on uh, something a little unusual. So these little tree stumps that I've just inked um, is actually the supports to a hammock. With a, oh, there we go. So I've got uh, the bottom of the hammock here that will be suspended in the middle of the two trees. Um, so yeah, I am literally painting a hammock right now. I've got a little uh, chair. Let me just move these guys out of the way so you can see what's going on. I've got a little um, a little chair um, to go with the set. Um, and that, so that's pretty much what I'm working on right now is to get this kind of set. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the hammock. I think I might do, like all the hammocks I've looked up, um, are kind of stripiness you know they kind of have like a stripy uh, interior but this little set has got these little ropes at the bottom and ooh, 
sorry it's just not focusing there we go um so i'm not entirely sure i'll kind of wing it as i go so that's the first bit of my day we'll be focusing on those and then i've got these lovely um i guess they could be used as shields um or they mounted heads dragon heads um so it's going to be red and i think i'm going to go red dragon green dragon yellow dragon um gold dragon. yeah it's going to be a gold dragon but it's i don't know i mean i don't know i'm i think i'm going to go for a leathery for, um effect and then i've just finished or i recently finished uh ooh. so these are tiny just to give you an idea that's my finger there we go teeny tiny frogs and i am just about so i don't want to swing it around here but i've got this lovely little garden set that i will be starting momentarily um yeah so i'm just having to clean it up what's your thoughts on what i was saying about uh, color schemes do you prefer when someone gives you a color scheme or are you more in making up your own schemes um i think it depends on what it is like you are not much of a um like you don't know anything about cthulhu i'm not saying i do but mm. so I, f I think that's quite you know the kind of the horror industry is kind of difficult isn't it like it's not natural to you but i think it's quite difficult if it's something that you aren't accustomed to so there are certain things like I am comfortable painting knights in a particular fashion. So when you, when a customer asks me to suddenly paint a knight in a, a different way, for instance, the armor in a different color, and I'm comfortable with, you know, a bolt gun metal effect or a gold effect, and now I suddenly have to think of making it shiny or, you know, different in some way, then I think maybe I'll, I'll, I'll have an issue. Um, but but i quite like looking up images and trying to find the the best uh you know theme online so I, I prefer to look it up or work according to what i'm comfortable with than the other way around mostly because if somebody asked me to paint it in a certain color i'm like oh i i don't know if i like that <laughs> then i find it incredibly difficult to do what they ask that's interesting so, <laughs> so i'm i'm more the color in person you're the more the creative person yeah but i think that's always been kind of our strong suits yeah but we dish out uh we dish out our work that way too so jason will sit over there and he's quite happily um the one that basically uh works on all sorts of you know mass projects and i get the smaller projects uh that are more finickety like tiny little frogs <laughs> yeah like tiny little frogs yes um we we each have our own customers anyway um and some people might some of jason's customers when i say jason's customers i mean jason's customers <laughs> <laughs> don't actually know that they're my customers <laughs> so you know who knows yeah very good well that's that uh, that entry for today we're back tomorrow with another one bye hey guys so this is wednesday and uh we've had a massive couple of days of painting really here hitting the painting hard as you can see this was that cthulhu kickstarter uh in the last sort of segment i showed you some of these fishmen uh this is obviously going to be very rough and ready vi videotography because i'm just doing it quickly but um these are these fishmen i'm trying to get it to focus a bit yeah anyway so They've come out, they, he wanted them on clear bases, uh, except these two, obviously, they were too big to take off their bases. I'm assuming, I don't really know what, I think he's using it for a Cthulhu roleplay, um, but most of them come from board games. I'm pretty sure these, 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 and these all come from board games. These are from Hasselfree, I think. I'm not sure where these are from, um, but he's sort of tied them in with just the clear bases so you can use them in either and that is that commission done. So all we need to do is take pictures of this and then package it up and send it back to the customer. 
Uh, obviously, I'll, before I package it up, once I've done the pictures, I'll send him the pictures and he can say if there's anything he wants changed or done differently. But that commission is done now. Um, I also, while we were busy with those, I managed to finish off my Numidians. I've just got to do the shields for the heavy infantry over here in front and then a couple of bits and pieces. And then that is also done. And this is what I've taken out to do next. So I've got um, Dwarf Slay on Troll Head here and a Chaos Champion. This is possibly what I'm going to be working on next. I was doing some cleaning of miniatures before I put the camera on, but unfortunately I can't show those as they are not available yet. And then for myself, I've just put over here the rest of my halflings for my Shield Maven halfling army. So I've got the Thieves, the Crossbow Command, and a Battle Standard Bearer. And I might get to cleaning, washing, and priming these as well. But I need to put in order for some more primer and stuff like that. But yeah, so that is how that's going. And we'll get back to you soon. Carla's busy with some stuff, but she's not finished what she was doing with, so I'll let her put a video up for that afterwards. See you guys later. Okay, so this morning I'm just looking over a commission uh, before it's ready to go out. Um, so I thought I would just quickly uh, uh, take you through the bits that I've done. Like I mentioned in one of the other mornings um, that I was basically done. So um, these are the bits that uh, are going out. So we've got the uh, little picnic set. We've got the hammock and... Uh, deck chair although um, I've just uh, spoke to the customer and I'll be um, putting some making these scenic bases so that's not actually done but um, you know it is essentially ready to go um, this is the little witch's hut which is literally one of my favorite pieces it's so cute it comes with all these little accessories excuse the pot of paint holding it up but um, as per the customer's requirements, we're just keeping it on little holdy things for photography later. Um, and the little squid tentacles at the back there. Again, they're still on the sprues um, as per customer's request. Um, that is a bird skull that I uh, basically sculpted out of clay um, for my friend's little boy who is dressing up as Radical Raven and apparently... Uh, Radical Raven has a bird skull on the forehead, so I have made that for his costume. Um, this is one of the Halloween sets, and this kind of scenery is the rest. Um, then we have um, the old battlefield bits here. This is a pretty cool set to paint, so much detail um, in each one of these little sets. Um, Decided to kind of go with a almost like a Templars theme for most of it. Um, this is the swamp, which I just love. I'll see if I can get. I'm afraid the weather is not playing game today, so <laughs> the lighting isn't the greatest. But um, and some mountain dragon heads and. A gardening set and back to the picnic set and that is all of it